Hello everyone, this is just a quick video about what iron bacteria can do in a well. The pump here is almost completely plugged up. It should be pumping about 50 gallons a minute and it was only making about 10. We're test pumping the well here with a different pump just to make sure it still made enough water for the three horse pump that was in there. It's a little bit cloudy but there's a lot more left in the well that isn't coming off yet. The inlet screen on this pump was almost completely plugged. The only water that was getting into it was coming in around the shaft. That's the impeller stack tore apart in the bottom of the diffuser there. There you've got the top of the diffuser and the impeller, both of which are almost completely plugged up. We were able to scrape these out with some screwdrivers and wire get it where it can make a little bit more water but it's kind of a temporary fix we didn't have the right pump in to be able to replace it with the pipe that was in the well had a little bit of bacteria in it but it, the buildup wasn't really restricting anything yet This is what we got the pump back up to. It's making about 30, 35 gallons a minute there, which is a big improvement over what it started, but it's still not 100%. We decided to go ahead and swab the well, or surge block it, and see if we could shake some more muddy stuff loose out of the bottom. Get the well cleaned up a little bit better. It really didn't change the production much but we're getting a lot more of the bacteria out of the well. Most treatment involves mechanical with the surge block or back flushing and chemical treatment. We really don't have a lot of experience with iron bacteria. There's not very many wells in our area that have this particular issue. I'll leave a few questions in the comments section. Maybe somebody out there can point us in the right direction for how to get a pump to last over a year and a half. This was a new well and new pump a year and a half ago. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.